I was very impressed with Nibia by Mo and Spa Shower. I love how they utilized less water in a unique way. They're on this quest to save all of this water and they've really thought through the whole problem. You know, when people think about shower heads, they don't think necessarily about design. So instead of saying, here's this thing, it's good for the environment, you're not gonna enjoy it, but do it anyway. They're turning it into an experience, a whole end-to-end -end experience that people actually want. Let's talk about Al Moen. Back in the 1940s, you used to have to have two taps for water in your house. One for hot, the other for cold. Well, right here in Cleveland, Al Moen invented a valve that allowed you to mix warm water and have it come out of a single faucet. That's the kind of innovative thinking that Mo and the company brings to their latest innovation. Oh, and by the way, this is gonna get pretty steamy. So Jason, Moen is one of the biggest faucet manufacturers in the US, right? We're actually the biggest. I stand corrected, whoa. Uh, so what are all these torture devices around us? This is our reliability and testing lab. We cycle test and stress test all of our faucets to make sure that they can last the lifetime that they are warrantied for. And today we're just talking about shower heads. We are. We're really excited about this great new partnership we have with Nebia. They provided this atomizing nozzle technology that we've integrated into our showers. So Gabe, you're a man on a mission. We're a company on a mission. In partnership with Moen, we hope to save a trillion gallons of water by 2030. I've heard this. Remarkable. Um, how are you doing it? We use a uh, technology called atomization that breaks up streams of water into smaller droplets. A traditional shower has holes that are like cylinders, and you can control the spray only by changing the diameter of that cylinder and the back pressure of water. With Nebia, we have complex three-dimensional shapes inside our nozzles that take a regular stream of water and break it apart into a very particular pattern. It has smaller droplets that are enveloping that can still rinse shampoo and soap off your body and feel great. Yeah, because you're not really going to uh, save all that water with a sort of thou shalt not approach. <laughs> Absolutely not. There has been low flow showers for years. People install them, they try them, they hate them, and then they throw them away. We knew from day one, if we wanted to save a truly measurable amount of water, that we would have to make a shower that was a better experience as well as save water. So this is your first draft? Yeah, this is Generation 1 Nebia that we launched in 2015. Okay, so where does Moen fit in? We partnered with Moen to take this technology, married with their design, engineering, supply chain skills, to make a more ubiquitous shower. And uh, who's this guy? This is Manny. He has 40 thermocouples all over him and he showers a couple dozen times a day. You've got a great job, Manny. Jason, what was the brief on this? So we had two major goals with this initiative. One was to reduce the complexity down from 220 parts. It's a lot of parts for a shower head. Indeed, and to reduce the cost to make it more affordable. This is an example of uh, part reduction where we merged 10 parts into one with an aluminum extrusion all machined at once. Nice. Another is the, uh, the magnetic dock. The original Nebia had six rare earth magnets in their, in their dock uh, that allowed it to be a poseable uh, shower head. We reduce it down to one and we put that magnet in the, the handheld and you can still position it and have the same experience. And I assume that big part of this part reduction was all about getting the cost down so it could actually go into as many homes as possible? Absolutely. The original Nebia costs over $600 retail and this system here is $160. So Jessica, what's this setup? So this is our ergonomic testing tool that we were able to 3D print in our lab downstairs. Nice, it's so cool to be able to make these things on site. What were you testing for? So actually the Nebia nozzles feel the most comfortable when they're two inches to seven inches above the user's head. And we knew we wanted to serve a wide range of users from the lowest demographic to the tallest demographic. So that meant we needed at least 17 inches of vertical adjustability. And we wanted to make sure that that experience was intuitive and comfortable for the user. So this tool helped us test a few different styles for this sliding dock. And we first tested a few different concepts like this one that looked really good on paper, but in the end, this is the one that felt the most comfortable and intuitive. And wow, that's a pretty smooth action you got there. 
That was something we really wanted to preserve was that buttery, smooth, intuitive, height adjusting experience. So the cool part is you don't have to only adjust it here. You can actually step under it and as you're showering, you can adjust the height further without having to interrupt that spa experience. Nice. So here it is installed, but Jason, do I need a plumber to get this in my house? Absolutely not. If we're gonna save a trillion gallons of water, it has to be as easy as possible. There's a little button on the top of the spine there. If you push that, it'll show you how easy it is to, to remove and install. That is pretty easy. And I see there's no additional hole that needs to be drilled here. Absolutely not. If you just take your shower arm, your standard shower arm out, you replace it with that gasket, plug it in, turn the water on, you're good to go. Can't get any simpler than that. Let's check out that buttery action that Jessica was telling me about. So nice. That is nice. So that's what we have for a shower install, but what if you have a tub shower? Ah, if you have a tub shower, you're gonna love our Nebbia Quattro. And I noticed there's no body sprayer with this one? No, so it just has this dockable handheld and it's magnetically connected. And this also has four different spray modes for the shower experience of your choice. Nice, I love that. So uh, can I give this thing a test drive? I think we can make that happen. This feels better than a regular shower. I love that we don't have to sacrifice our shower experience while we're saving all that water. And that's what good design is all about. It brings you innovation seamlessly. Excuse me. 